What's up guys, Juice Messi here. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to your daily dose of transfer gossip. Whether that's confirmed deals or potential ones, they will be included in this video, guys. Today is a Thursday, I believe the 26th of May, and we've got some good deals to get through. But as always, before we start, if you can smash 1,000 fire likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're to my channel, click that subscribe button for more. And in the comments below, let me your thoughts on today's rumors and the rumors I should do in the next episode. And also, if you missed my previous video, they'll be down below in that description box. It was a gameplay video, as it always is at 9 p.m., guys. So 9 p.m. gameplay, 8 a.m. transfers, and let's get into the video. And over the next couple of weeks, I may bring back the top five transfers of the week so you guys can get a very quick recap every single week as well. So let's start off with German today, and that's going to be Konstantin Rausch, I think his name is pronounced, of uh, formerly of Darmstadt today. And now he's joined FC Cologne or Köln um, in Germany, and it was a free transfer. And this one potentially could lead on to others because he can play left back, if I'm correct, which would probably mean uh, Jonas Hector, who's heavily linked to Liverpool, could be available. We'll have to wait and see whether he's just back up or potentially uh, the first choice left back. And now we go on to Granit Xhaka. And this was, uh, I mentioned this about a week ago now, um, and probably about four or five days ago that it was officially done. But today, oh, yesterday, in fact, Arsenal did announce it uh, officially. So he's all done and dusted. He's an official Arsenal player. And uh, they, they announced it in quite good fashion as well. The whole retweets and stuff, they played off really well. They knew everything was being leaked and uh, they kind of dealt with that bit uh, in particularly very well. So let's go on to the next one. And, oh, actually, no. It's like uh, we mentioned the fee. Apparently, a lot of places are around £30 million. But... Uh, uh, that would make him the third highest, uh, I think, third highest uh, transfer in Arsenal's history. But apparently, there's some add-ons that could take up to 38 potentially. But whatever newspaper you're looking at, it tells us a different fee, so it's probably best to just assume this one is undisclosed. But now we go on to uh, this guy. This is actually a manager one, and that's Rafa Benitez. There's a lot of speculation that he was going to leave after uh, Newcastle got relegated, but he stuck by him. And today, officially signed a three-year deal. I keep saying today like it's uh, actually on Thursday, but obviously when I say that, it's uh, Wednesday because that is when I'm recording this video. So. So Rafa Benitez, he's Newcastle manager now for the next three years, hopefully for them. And that just gives them a lot of stability. And I think their fans absolutely love that. And hopefully for Rafa and for Newcastle, they bounce straight back up into the Premier League is where they kind of deserve, to be honest. Their fan base is magnificent. Um, and they haven't really got the back end of the support, the board and stuff to actually deal with that. But hopefully Rafa uh, helps them get past this stage of their uh, like their history. Now we go on to Andrei Kramaric this time, the Croatian striker, formerly of the Premier League champions, Leicester City. He was sent out on loan in January, if I'm correct. And... I also think he's their record signing ever. But today they officially tweeted that his uh, transfer to Hoffenheim has now become a permanent. So it's not just a loan, he has gone to Germany for good. And uh, I don't, they haven't mentioned a fee or anything, but again, just undisclosed, we'll go at that. Now we go on to uh, Diego Figueras. Uh, I've need butchered that at first, but Diego Figueras, I'm gonna go with. He has joined Olympiacos today from, I think it's Sevilla, but he was out on loan to Genoa last season. And with this next one, I'm pretty sure like 99.9% of you won't actually care about it, but I thought I'd chuck in a few lower league ones in there just to cover every single like every single person that likes watching these videos kind of thing um so this one is going to be holloway aaron amady holloway apparently uh, a welsh player has joined fleetwood from wickham on an undisclosed fee they've also signed two goalkeepers on free transfers over the last day and the final one is going to be a contract extension that's julio cesar the brazilian goalkeeper extend his contract until 2018 for benfica and now we move on to the potential deals we've got a lot of big ones today the very first one is including a player that got into the uh, official fifa team of the year that is danny alves the right back he's getting on a little bit bit now and it was kind of it's kind of like getting to a time where he probably could move on from Barcelona simply the fact that they've got the likes of Vidalian and a lot of other y younger players basically that could fill his shoes so Danny was today linked to the Serie A champions and this is according to a journalist called Gerard Romero who's reporting on a, a site that's saying that Danny Alves is set to go to Juventus no fear has been mentioned but it's actually there's two Barca players potentially on their way to Italy the second one will feature in, in this episode in a little bit of time now we go on to John Stones and this one isn't a surprise because John Stones uh, last year is kind of the biggest summer saga because Chelsea wanted him but they just couldn't get him and in this season where Everton completely struggled under Roberto Martinez also alongside that uh, John Stones definitely did as well he wasn't as good as he's previously been and apparently that hasn't actually reduced his uh, potential price tag because today according to James Robson who works for uh, MEM which is Manchester Evening News thanks to everyone that pointed out the comments uh, I appreciate that uh, apparently he's asked to leave Everton who is determined to leave them but 45 million pounds is still the asking price and that's actually five million pounds more than there was asked for last year but still he's very young he's english that's gonna boost his value up anyway and uh, also on top of that he, he wasn't a struggling side so it doesn't mean he's a bad defender but we'll have to wait and see if he gets a bigger club move or even for england potentially if he fits in well that'll probably give us an indication to where his career is really heading and apparently the club's interested are manchester city with pep guardiola manchester united with Mourinho, barcelona and also chelsea so that could also mean that the fee itself if it does happen will be very close to that 45 mil everton actually 
you want. But let me know in the comments below, do you think 45 mil is extremely extortionate or do you think with the TV money and stuff in England now, 45 mil is justified for a young centre-back? But now we go on to Kostas Malas, the Greek international, currently playing for Roma. Today, a massive target according to a lot of sites and in particular, Gianluca Damaso, a very uh, reliable Italian journalist. He's uh, potentially Mourinho's biggest defensive target. And Damaso is suggesting that Manchester United have met with Malas' entourage and a 40 million euro offer is ready to be made. After two seasons with Roma, he's impressed and made a big name for himself in Italy. And also, alongside Manlas, the likes of Nine Goal and his deal apparently to Chelsea has stalled completely. So they would have to sacrifice a big name, and that could be Manlas, because apparently they're in a bit of financial trouble. And that would be a huge coup from Manchester United and in particular for Jose Mourinho next season. Now we go on to uh, Ronaldo. This isn't one him about him leaving. Apparently he wants a new contract. And according to Sky Sports, he's actually urging Real Madrid to offer him a new contract. So they're saying that Real Madrid would be making a smart decision if they offered me this is actually a quote by the way if they offered me a new contract Ronaldo told Spanish television program the sex that on Wednesday so that one It'd be, I wouldn't see this actually not happening. I think Real will offer him a new contract. So apparently he wants to retire at the club. And I'd also uh, kind of like uh, get rid of all the rumours about potentially going to Paris Saint-Germain or returning to Manchester United. And now we've got two rumours regarding Rafael Guerrero currently playing for uh, Lorient, I think it is, in France. And apparently, according to Lorient Vice President Alex Hayes, uh, he's actually confirmed they've received offers from Liverpool and also Borussia Dortmund for the left-back Rafael Guerrero. The quote says that four major clubs, including Liverpool and Dortmund, have made bids. So Liverpool are Obviously, like uh, I mentioned with Hector before, they're looking for a left back, but also Borussia Dortmund, they seem to be doing the exact same thing. I know this guy is very highly rated in France and uh, I think he's also a Portuguese international now because I remember seeing him at the, uh, I think it was an under 21 tournament not too long ago. Now we go on to Zlatan though, the, the biggest free agent in probably history or at least for a very, very long time. And uh, apparently Sky Sports now has said that no agreement is in place for Ibra to join Manchester United. So despite all of these rumors, it does still seem like Zlatan himself does have no clue where he'll be next season. That's, that's quite a strange one because seriously you're getting quite close to the Euros now just two weeks away essentially and I think this one should be all done and dusted we'll find out what club is at before that tournament kicks off hopefully and now we're going to sport Pepe Reina has been offered to Barcelona so the agent of the Napoli goalkeeper uh, his name is Manuel Garcia Colón has met with Barcelona to discuss a potential move for his client and return back to the Camp Nou but apparently Barca they're not interested and a lot of these are regarding FC Barcelona so this next one is Sydney the uh, Brazilian centre-back currently playing for Deportivo La Coruña and apparently Barca have agreed a contract with him and he's said to undergo a medical at the Camp Nou uh, very soon. He seems like quite an odd one because this guy isn't a big name or personally I've never actually heard of him. Um, I've just seen him on FIFA to be honest. So Sydney to Barca looks like it could be on the cards. And now we go on to Javier Mascherano, another Barca related one. Apparently like Dani Alves, linked to Juventus. And like the Pepe Reina one, this is according to Sport. They're saying that Juve have agreed a deal in principle to sign Mascherano from Barcelona this summer. So I'm not sure how much, uh, like how, the, how true these are because I don't know if Mascherano is unhappy or anything, but he may be looking for a new challenge after being at Barca for a fair amount of time and essentially winning everything that is possible with them. And now we go on to Christian Eriksen. This one isn't going to happen, but apparently Lou Van Howe really wanted him if he was still in charge at United. PA Sports said that sacked Manchester United manager Lou Van Howe wanted to bring the Spurs midfielder Christian Eriksen to Old Trafford before he was relieved of his duties. So that would have been a huge one. Eriksen is a class, class player. And I imagine he would have been probably tempted by a club like United despite them being lower in the table. But it's not all bad for United because they probably will get a lot of big names in the summer due to Jose Mourinho and a massive, massive rebuild. And now we go on to N'Golo Kante, uh, probably the best midfielder last year in the Prem in regards to all round. And N'Golo Kante today linked to a move back to France after just one year in England to Paris Saint-Germain. And it's not the first time either. According to La Parisienne, uh, PSG are set to hold further talks with Leicester City midfielder N'Golo Kante after making an improved contract offer to the France international. So no fears be mentioned, but apparently there is a £20 million release clause, which... Whether I believe that or not, I'm not too sure. If it is true, that's a very risky one by Leicester. And they uh, probably should play that a little bit safer. And now we go on to Emmanuel Mamanda today of, uh, of this River Plate currently in Argentina. Argentina? Argentina, there we go. Uh, today linked to Chelsea. And according to Transfer Mark then, there's some the representatives of the River Plate defender Emmanuel Mamanda are in London currently holding talks with Chelsea over a potential summer move. So I I'm, I'm imagine this guy's got a lot of potential. I mean, 1996, yeah, he's probably like 20 or 19 years old. So definitely one for the future and uh, I think it's Conte the new Chelsea manager may be interested in his services and now we've got Seda Barahino uh, probably on his way out of West Brom this summer because it's been a long long time coming and today 
Palace are linked. And this one is according to Daily Mail. They're saying that Crystal Palace are weighing up a £7 million bid for West Brom striker Seda Berahino. That they could face competition from Watford and Stoke City. So it looks like, like I mentioned, Berahino could or should be on his way out of West Brom this summer because he's been there long enough. He's kind of been denied about four transfers now. And it looks like West Brom, they were initially offered like 25 mil last summer. And in a year, it's gone down to just seven. That's because he's been on the bench a lot and hasn't really got as much game time to kind of show that he's still as good as he once was. Or I say once was last season. And now we go on to Yasin Brahimi today. Yeah, the Algerian linked to Liverpool and not for the first time. And A. Bola then are saying that Liverpool are closing in on a deal for Yasin Brahimi as they are willing to trigger the Porto wingers I uh, wait, wait for this, 60 million euro release clause. So I don't believe that. I mean, release clauses, they're just like a placeholder. That's so teams don't either offer for them, but it should, I don't, the 60 mil, I mean, that, that just confuses me. I can't see it happening. I honestly, if it was that fee, I don't want it to happen. If it's like half that possibly, that's like 20, was it 25 million pounds? And that's probably more acceptable, but 60 million, no thank you in my opinion. And now we've gone to John Gadetti this time, the former Man City man, a link back to return to BPL in fact, uh, with Swansea. And sportespressin.se, are saying that Swansea City have launched a bid for Celta Vigo striker John Gadetti as they look to bring the full Man City forward to the Premier League or back to the Premier League and um, it's probably a good move for him I think he's done okay for Celta Vigo I know he does well for like the under 21s and stuff for Sweden uh, but that was a few years ago now so that one would be interesting to see how it develops and now we've got Leroy Sané um, again a player that's there uh, He's kind of hyped up a lot this summer and today linked to Bayern Munich. And Sport 1 has said the Bayern joined race for Sané. That is the headline. It says the Bayern have joined the race to sign Schalke forward Leroy Sané and are willing to pay up to 60 million euros for the Germany international. And I know he's highly rated by a lot of uh, Bayern Munich's people, formerly uh, their old manager Pep Guardiola, but 60 million euros, it seems that it'll be a massive fee if he does leave this summer. And it looks like Bayern, they just buy a lot of the big youngsters and they just make themselves even greater than they currently are. They do face competition, like I mentioned, though, from Manchester City and a lot of top European clubs. And now we go on to Ryan Giggs again. Uh, again, this is managerial, uh, managerial base. And the Daily Mirror are saying that he's been offered the under-21 job. And the Daily Mirror are saying that Jose Mourinho will offer Ryan Giggs a role managing the Manchester United under-21 team. But the Welsh may see the job as a step down after a previously assisting Lou Van Howe. And now we move on to the Danish player Victor Fischer of Ajax. And this one was in yesterday's video and there's a little bit more a light shed on this transfer news. So the Telegraph now are saying that Ajax and Middlesbrough have reached an agreement now over the transfer of forward Victor Fischer. The Danish player has travelled to England to agree personal terms. So for him, it's a very good move uh, getting a Premier League team. And for Middlesbrough, I mean, they've got they've got an exciting little talent there because he's there also, like, going back two years, he was linked to a lot of clubs. And apologies about that beep. That was my Xbox. I've got a message on there. So now we move on then to the final one today. And this is going to be a manager. Of course it is. And everyone knows Mourinho is going to be United's new manager. But there's one thing holding it up. And apparently, I think it's Chelsea had the image rights or something on the name rights for Jose Mourinho. But Sky Sports tweeted, breaking, Jose Mourinho expects to sign a contract with United by Friday. So I thought this one honestly would have been done by about Tuesday. But this whole image right and name right uh, seems to be holding up a long, long time. But Mourinho going to be Man United's manager. Um, um, it's now about when, not if. And Friday or tomorrow, it looks like it will be the day. And on that note, guys, that's going to be the end of today's potential transfers as well as the confirmed ones at the beginning. So as always, if you can smash 1,500 likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you to my channel, click that subscribe button for more. And in the comments below, let me your thoughts on today's rumors and the rumors I shoot in the next episode, guys. And also, if if you my previous video, let me down below in the description box and keep an eye out for tonight's video at 9pm, guys. So thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time.